Imagine if the key to turning your toughest struggles into your most powerful growth moments was uncovered over 2,000 years ago. Picture yourself navigating life's storms with a calm so unshakable, nothing could disturb your inner peace. As the Buddha wisely said, the mind is everything. What you think, you become. So what if you could harness the power of your mind to transform every challenge into an opportunity? Sounds like a superpower, right? Today we're exploring the ancient Buddhist principles that can make this your reality. 1. Embracing obstacles as opportunities. In Buddhism, obstacles are not just seen as roadblocks or setbacks. They are viewed as crucial opportunities for personal growth and development. Instead of feeling discouraged or overwhelmed by challenges, Buddhism teaches us to change our perspective and see these obstacles as chances to learn and evolve. Every difficulty we face, whether big or small, carries a lesson that can make us stronger, wiser and more resilient. By embracing these challenges with an open mind and a positive attitude, we can transform our struggles into stepping stones that lead us toward a more fulfilling and enlightened life. 2. Living in the present moment. Buddhism emphasizes the importance of living fully in the present moment, a practice known as mindfulness. Often we get caught up in worries about the future or regrets about the past, which can cause stress and prevent us from enjoying life as it unfolds. By focusing our attention on what is happening right now, whether it's a conversation, a meal, or even a simple breath, we can experience life more vividly and with greater clarity. Living in the present moment helps us to let go of distractions and anxieties, allowing us to find peace, joy, and contentment in the here and now. It's about being fully engaged with the present, appreciating every detail, and finding meaning in each moment. 3. Developing Emotional Resilience Emotional resilience is the ability to handle life's challenges and setbacks without being overwhelmed by negative emotions. In Buddhism, developing this resilience is key to maintaining inner peace and balance. Instead of letting emotions like anger, fear or sadness control us, Buddhism teaches us to observe these feelings without getting caught up in them. By practicing mindfulness and self-awareness, we can learn to respond to difficulties with calm and clarity rather than reacting impulsively. This doesn't mean suppressing emotions, but rather understanding them and choosing how to act. Over time, this practice builds emotional strength, helping us to remain steady and composed even in the face of life's storms. With emotional resilience, we become better equipped to navigate life's ups and downs, leading to greater stability and well-being. 4. Building Self-Discipline Self-discipline is the foundation of personal growth and success, and in Buddhism, it's considered essential for leading a balanced and meaningful life. Building self-discipline means developing the ability to control your impulses, stay committed to your goals, and consistently make choices that align with your values. It's about creating and maintaining healthy habits, whether it's through regular meditation, mindful eating, or sticking to a daily routine. Self-discipline helps you overcome procrastination, resist distractions, and remain focused on what truly matters. In Buddhism, this discipline is not about rigidly following rules, but about cultivating the inner strength to live a life of purpose and integrity. By practicing self-discipline, you can achieve a sense of accomplishment and inner peace, knowing that you are living in harmony with your true self. 5. Not caring. What others think. Buddhism teaches that true freedom comes from within, and one of the ways to achieve this freedom is by not being overly concerned with what others think of you. Often, we spend too much time worrying about how we are perceived by others, which can lead to stress, anxiety, and even the abandonment of our true selves. In Buddhism, the focus is on finding inner validation and understanding that your worth is not determined by external opinions or societal expectations. 
By letting go of the need for approval from others, you can live more authentically, making decisions that align with your own values and beliefs, rather than trying to meet the expectations of others. This doesn't mean you become insensitive to others' feelings, but rather that you prioritize your own inner peace and happiness. When you stop worrying about what others think, you free yourself to live a life that is true to who you really are. 6. Building Mental Strength Mental strength is a core concept in Buddhism and is essential for navigating life's challenges with resilience and clarity. Building mental strength involves training your mind to remain calm, focused and balanced, even in difficult situations. In a world full of distractions, stress and constant change, developing mental strength is more important than ever. Buddhism teaches that the mind is like a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it becomes. This mental training often starts with practices like meditation, mindfulness and contemplation. Through regular meditation, you learn to quiet the mind, detach from unnecessary worries and cultivate a sense of inner calm. Mindfulness, on the other hand, helps you stay present and fully engaged in each moment, reducing the impact of negative thoughts and emotions. Building mental strength also means developing the ability to let go of things you cannot control. Many of our mental struggles come from trying to control the uncontrollable, whether it's other people's behavior, the future, or past events. Buddhism encourages us to accept what is, without resistance or attachment. This acceptance doesn't mean passivity, it means understanding the reality of a situation and choosing how to respond wisely, rather than reacting impulsively. Mental strength involves cultivating a positive mindset, even in the face of adversity. In Buddhism, this is often achieved through practices like loving-kindness meditation, where you actively generate feelings of compassion and goodwill towards yourself and others. By regularly engaging in these practices, you can rewire your brain to focus on positivity and resilience, rather than being overwhelmed by negative thoughts. Another key aspect of mental strength is emotional regulation. Buddhism teaches that emotions are natural, but they do not have to dictate your actions. By observing your emotions with mindfulness, you can learn to manage them effectively, preventing them from leading you into destructive behaviors or thought patterns. Building mental strength through Buddhist practices allows you to approach life with a sense of equanimity, a balanced, composed state of mind that remains unshaken by the highs and lows of existence. This mental fortitude not only helps you cope with life's challenges, but also enables you to live with greater peace, purpose and joy. Over time, as your mental strength grows, you'll find yourself better equipped to handle whatever life throws your way, staying true to your values and inner wisdom. 7. Embrace Impermanence Impermanence, or anicca, is one of the most fundamental teachings in Buddhism, and understanding it can profoundly transform the way we live our lives. Impermanence refers to the idea that everything in life is in a constant state of flux. Nothing remains the same forever. Whether it's our emotions, our relationships, our successes, or even our failures, everything is transient. By fully embracing this truth, we can learn to navigate life's changes with greater ease and wisdom. At first, the concept of impermanence might seem unsettling. It's natural to seek stability and permanence in our lives, whether it's through relationships, material possessions or personal achievements. We often cling to the things we love, fearing their loss. However, Buddhism teaches that this clinging is a primary source of suffering. When we expect things to remain the same, we set ourselves up for disappointment, as change is inevitable. By embracing impermanence, we can begin to let go of our attachments and the fear that often accompanies them. For example, when we accept that relationships may change, we can appreciate them more fully in the present moment rather than worrying about their future. 
Similarly, when we understand that material possessions are temporary, we can enjoy them without becoming overly attached or defined by them. Impermanence also encourages us to live more fully in the present moment. Knowing that everything is fleeting can inspire us to cherish each experience, each interaction and each moment as it comes without taking anything for granted. This awareness can deepen our appreciation for life, making us more mindful of the beauty and richness in everyday experiences. Embracing impermanence can help us cope with difficult situations. When we're faced with hardship or loss, the knowledge that this too shall pass can provide comfort and hope. It reminds us that pain is not permanent and better days will come. This understanding allows us to endure tough times with greater resilience, knowing that change is the only constant. In a broader sense, accepting impermanence can lead to a profound sense of liberation. When we no longer cling to the idea of permanence, we free ourselves from the fear of loss and the anxiety of the unknown. This freedom allows us to live with greater spontaneity and openness, welcoming new experiences without the need to control or predict their outcomes. Embracing impermanence also teaches us humility. It reminds us that our successes and failures are not fixed, but part of a larger, ever-changing process. This perspective can help us stay grounded, preventing us from becoming overly proud in times of success or overly discouraged in times of failure. In practical terms, embracing impermanence means being flexible and adaptable. Life will inevitably throw unexpected challenges our way, and by accepting change as a natural part of life, we can respond with creativity and resilience. Instead of resisting change or trying to hold on to the past, we can flow with the natural rhythm of life, adjusting our course as needed. The Buddhist teaching of impermanence invites us to live with a sense of acceptance and peace. By recognizing and embracing the transient nature of all things, we can release our attachments, reduce our suffering, and cultivate a deeper, more meaningful connection with the world around us. This acceptance doesn't lead to passivity, but rather empowers us to engage with life fully, with an open heart and a clear mind, ready to embrace whatever comes our way. 8. Let go of attachment. Attachment is a central concept in Buddhism, and learning to let go of attachment is crucial for achieving inner peace and true happiness. In the Buddhist context, attachment refers to the tendency to cling to people, objects, ideas, or outcomes in the belief that they will bring us lasting happiness or fulfillment. However, Buddhism teaches that attachment is one of the primary sources of suffering, as it often leads to disappointment, anxiety, and a sense of lack when things don't go as we expect. We often attach ourselves to things that we believe are essential for our happiness, whether it's a relationship, a job, a material possession, or even our own ideas and beliefs. While these things can bring temporary satisfaction, Buddhism reminds us that nothing in life is permanent, and clinging to impermanent things only sets us up for suffering. When we hold on too tightly, we become afraid of losing what we have or not getting what we desire, which leads to a cycle of fear, craving and dissatisfaction. Letting go of attachment doesn't mean that we should renounce all our desires or live a life of deprivation. Instead, it's about recognizing that our happiness and sense of self-worth shouldn't be dependent on external factors. It's about cultivating a mindset of non-attachment where we can enjoy life's pleasures and engage in relationships without becoming overly attached to them. This doesn't mean we care less, but rather that we learn to care in a way that is free from clinging and possessiveness. One of the first steps in letting go of attachment is developing awareness of our attachments. This requires mindfulness, becoming conscious of the things, people or outcomes that we are clinging to and understanding how they influence our emotions and behavior. 
Through mindfulness, we can observe how our attachments create suffering and begin to loosen their grip on us. For example, if we notice that we are overly attached to the approval of others, we can start to question why we seek that validation and how it affects our sense of self. Another key aspect of letting go of attachment is embracing impermanence. By recognizing that everything in life is transient, relationships, material possessions, even our own thoughts and feelings, we can begin to release our need to hold on tightly. This doesn't mean that we stop caring or that we become indifferent, but rather that we accept the natural flow of life and allow things to come and go without resistance. When we understand that everything is impermanent, we can enjoy the present moment more fully without being consumed by fear of loss. Letting go of attachment also involves developing a sense of inner contentment and self-sufficiency. Instead of looking to external things or people to fulfill us, Buddhism encourages us to find contentment within ourselves. This might involve cultivating qualities like self-love, compassion, and inner peace, which provide a stable foundation for happiness that isn't dependent on external circumstances. When we are content within ourselves, we are less likely to cling to things outside of us for validation or security. In relationships, letting go of attachment means loving without clinging or trying to control the other person. It's about allowing others the freedom to be themselves and recognizing that love is not about possession but about connection and mutual respect. This type of love is often referred to as unconditional love in Buddhism, where we care deeply for others without expecting anything in return or needing them to fulfill our own desires. Another important practice in letting go of attachment is learning to release our attachment to specific outcomes. Often we become attached to the idea of how things should be, whether it's our career path, our relationships or our life goals. When things don't go as planned, this attachment can lead to frustration and disappointment. By letting go of rigid expectations, we open ourselves to new possibilities and allow life to unfold in its own way, trusting that everything happens for a reason. Letting go of attachment is also about releasing our attachment to our own ego. The ego is often driven by a need for recognition, success and validation, which can lead to a constant striving for more. Buddhism teaches that true peace comes from transcending the ego and realizing that our true nature is beyond these external identifications. By letting go of the need to prove ourselves or achieve external success, we can find a deeper sense of fulfillment that is not dependent on anything outside of us. Letting go of attachment is a gradual process. It requires patience, mindfulness and self-compassion. It's about making small shifts in how we perceive and interact with the world, gradually loosening the grip of attachment on our hearts and minds. As we let go, we find that we are freer, lighter and more at peace. 9. Practice Gratitude Daily Gratitude is a powerful and transformative practice in Buddhism, one that can significantly enhance our overall sense of well-being and happiness. Practicing gratitude daily involves consciously focusing on the positive aspects of life, appreciating what we have rather than lamenting what we lack. In Buddhism, gratitude is not just a fleeting emotion, but a fundamental attitude that can reshape our entire outlook on life. The practice of gratitude begins with a simple yet profound shift in perspective. Instead of taking things for granted, we start to notice and acknowledge the many blessings in our lives. This could be as basic as appreciating the food we eat, the shelter we have, the health we enjoy, or the people who care about us. By bringing these blessings into our awareness, we counterbalance the natural human tendency to focus on what's missing or what's wrong. Gratitude in Buddhism is also about recognizing the interdependence of all things. Nothing we have or experience exists in isolation. Everything is the result of countless conditions and efforts by others. For instance, 
The food on our plate is the result of the work of farmers, the transport systems that delivered it, the natural elements that nurtured it, and much more. By recognizing this interconnectedness, we cultivate a deep sense of appreciation for the world around us and the web of life that sustains us. One of the most effective ways to cultivate gratitude is through a daily gratitude practice. This could be as simple as keeping a gratitude journal where you write down three things you're grateful for each day. These can be big or small. What matters is the act of reflection and acknowledgement. Over time, this practice can train your mind to seek out and focus on the positive aspects of your life, even in the midst of challenges. This shift in focus can lead to increased happiness, better relationships, and a more optimistic outlook. Gratitude also plays a vital role in developing contentment. In a culture that often promotes the pursuit of more, more wealth, more success, more possessions, Gratitude teaches us to appreciate what we already have. It helps us realize that true wealth lies not in accumulating more, but in being content with what we have. When we practice gratitude, we shift from a mindset of scarcity and lack to one of abundance and sufficiency. This doesn't mean we stop striving for improvement, but rather that we do so from a place of contentment rather than dissatisfaction. Gratitude is deeply connected to the Buddhist practice of mindfulness. When we are mindful, we are fully present in the moment. And in this state, we can more easily notice and appreciate the blessings around us. Mindful gratitude allows us to savor life's experiences, whether it's enjoying a warm cup of tea, feeling the sun on our skin, or spending time with loved ones. By being present and grateful in each moment, we enhance our capacity for joy and fulfillment. Another important aspect of gratitude in Buddhism is its role in fostering compassion and kindness. When we are grateful for the kindness of others and the support we receive, we naturally feel more inclined to give back and spread kindness in return. Gratitude opens our hearts, making us more empathetic and generous. It reminds us that we are all interconnected and that our well-being is intertwined with the well-being of others. Practicing gratitude also helps us navigate difficult times with greater resilience. When life presents challenges, it's easy to become overwhelmed by negativity. However, by maintaining a gratitude practice, we can find things to be thankful for even in the midst of adversity. This doesn't mean ignoring the difficulties we face, but rather, balancing them with an awareness of the good that still exists. This practice can provide a sense of hope and strength, helping us to endure and overcome hardships with grace. Gratitude is also a powerful antidote to negative emotions such as envy, resentment and frustration. When we focus on what we have and appreciate it fully, there's less room for these negative emotions to take root. Gratitude shifts our attention away from what others have that we don't and instead fosters a sense of satisfaction with our own lives. This shift in focus can lead to greater inner peace and contentment. In the Buddhist tradition, gratitude is not limited to the good times or the things that are easy to appreciate. It also extends to the challenges and difficulties we face. These, too, can be seen as opportunities for growth and learning. By being grateful for our challenges, we can transform them into valuable lessons that contribute to our personal and spiritual development. 10. Prioritize inner peace. Inner peace is often considered the ultimate goal in Buddhism, a state of calm, serenity and contentment that remains unshaken by the external circumstances of life. Prioritizing inner peace means making a conscious choice to focus on your mental and emotional well-being, even in the midst of a chaotic world. It involves cultivating a deep sense of tranquility and balance that allows you to navigate life's challenges with grace and clarity. The pursuit of inner peace begins with understanding that true peace comes from within, 
not from external achievements, possessions or circumstances. In a world that often emphasizes the importance of success, wealth and social status, Buddhism offers a different perspective, that lasting peace and happiness can only be found by turning inward. This doesn't mean withdrawing from the world, but rather engaging with it from a place of centeredness and stability. One of the key practices for cultivating inner peace in Buddhism is meditation. Meditation allows us to quiet the mind, release stress, and connect with our true selves. Through regular meditation, we learn to observe our thoughts and emotions without getting caught up in them. This detachment from the constant chatter of the mind helps us to see things more clearly and to respond to life situations with wisdom and calm, rather than reacting out of fear or anger. Over time, meditation deepens our sense of inner peace, making it easier to maintain this state even in challenging situations. Mindfulness is another essential practice for prioritizing inner peace. Mindfulness involves being fully present in each moment, aware of our thoughts, feelings and surroundings without judgment. By practicing mindfulness, we can prevent our minds from becoming overwhelmed by worries about the future or regrets about the past. This presence in the moment allows us to experience life more fully and to find peace in the simple act of being. Mindfulness also helps us to notice when our peace is being disturbed, giving us the opportunity to address the cause and return to a state of balance. Prioritizing inner peace also requires letting go of things that disrupt our tranquility. This might mean releasing attachments to material possessions, toxic relationships, or negative thought patterns that cause unnecessary stress and anxiety. It also involves setting healthy boundaries to protect our peace. Whether that's by limiting our exposure to negative influences, saying no to commitments that drain us, or creating a peaceful environment at home. By letting go of what no longer serves us, we create space for peace to flourish in our lives. A crucial aspect of maintaining inner peace is cultivating a mindset of acceptance. Life is full of unexpected events and changes, many of which are beyond our control. By accepting things as they are, rather than resisting or wishing them to be different, we reduce the inner turmoil that comes from fighting against reality. Acceptance doesn't mean passivity or giving up on positive change, but rather approaching life's challenges with a sense of calm and understanding. This acceptance helps us to remain peaceful, even when things don't go as planned. Compassion is another important component of inner peace. In Buddhism, it is believed that true peace cannot exist without compassion for others. When we act with kindness and empathy, we not only contribute to the well-being of others, but also nourish our own inner peace. Compassion helps us to transcend the ego, reducing conflicts and fostering harmonious relationships. It allows us to approach others with understanding and patience, which in turn creates a peaceful environment in which we can thrive. Gratitude, as discussed earlier, also plays a significant role in prioritizing inner peace. When we focus on the blessings in our lives, we shift our attention away from what's lacking and reduce the feelings of discontent that disturb our peace. By practicing gratitude, we cultivate a positive mindset that supports inner tranquility. Another aspect of prioritizing inner peace is developing emotional resilience. Life is full of ups and downs, and it's natural to experience a range of emotions. However, by building emotional resilience, we can remain steady and peaceful even in the face of adversity. This resilience comes from understanding that emotions are temporary and learning not to be swept away by them. By practicing mindfulness and meditation, we can observe our emotions without being controlled by them, maintaining our peace regardless of external circumstances. Prioritizing inner peace also involves simplifying our lives. In a world that often values busyness and constant activity, 
simplicity can be a powerful path to peace. This might involve decluttering our physical space, reducing our commitments, or slowing down our pace of life. By simplifying, we free ourselves from the stress of trying to do and have too much, allowing us to focus on what truly matters and what brings us joy and peace. In Buddhism, inner peace is also linked to the practice of non-attachment. Non-attachment doesn't mean detachment or indifference, but rather not clinging to things that are beyond our control. This includes not becoming overly attached to our desires, opinions, or the need to be right. By practicing non-attachment, we reduce the inner conflicts that arise from trying to control or hold on to things that are impermanent. This practice frees us from the emotional highs and lows that disturb our peace, allowing us to maintain a state of equanimity. Prioritizing inner peace means making it a daily practice. It's not something that happens automatically or overnight, but something we cultivate through consistent effort. This might involve daily meditation, mindful breathing, regular reflection, or simply taking time each day to relax and unwind. By making inner peace a priority, we build a strong foundation for a life that is not only successful, but also deeply fulfilling and joyful. Prioritizing inner peace allows us to live with greater clarity, compassion, and contentment. It helps us to navigate life's challenges with a steady mind and an open heart, creating a ripple effect of peace that extends to those around us. By making inner peace the cornerstone of our lives, we align ourselves with the deeper truths of Buddhism and create a life that is harmonious, balanced, and full of joy. These ten principles are not just ideas to ponder, they are practices to live by. When embraced, they have the power to transform your life from within. Start integrating them into your daily routine and watch as your life begins to change in ways you never imagined. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content on living a meaningful life. Let us know in the comments which principle resonated with you the most.